every Saturday afternoon in stadiums all over the country, you'll see young men, like this one, watching the games and enjoying themselves. But four years ago, it was a different story. Four years ago, many of our young men were on Heartbreak Ridge in Korea. And that was no game, but vicious grinding war that went on and on as if forever. Of course, today it's all over, and the young men are trying to forget. But for one day this year, they'll remember. And that one day is Election Day, November 6th, when not only these young men, but Americans of all ages will be thinking long and hard about how to vote for the surest road to peace during the next four years. What are some of their thoughts? I'm engaged this time, and I'm planning to get married. And I don't want to look forward to military service in war. I want my children to grow up in a country that's in peace. I think that uh, Ike is a man that can do this for us. I will vote for President Eisenhower because I am the mother of three children, and I feel with President Eisenhower in command of our country, I can raise my children with great security. I'm going to vote for Ike because of his outstanding record in the past four years and because I believe through the Republican administration we will have peace and prosperity for my children to grow up for at least the next 20 years. I served four and a half years in the United States Army Air Forces and am a great admirer of President Eisenhower in what he did during the war in leading us to victory and what he is now doing to lead us to peace and to hold the peace of this world. I have an 18-year-old son, and I am so grateful to Eisenhower for giving him an uninterrupted education. So many of the boys and his friends have, were sent to Korea in a war that uh, had no successful conclusion. All over the country, young men and their parents are asking, can we gamble when the stakes are so high? Can we dismiss the man who has kept us at peace and take a chance on a man untried and inexperienced in international negotiations and world problems? Or what do you say? Are you willing to bet everything you love and hold dear that Stevenson can also keep us out of war? Are you that sure of it? Remember, this peace we've grown so used to didn't come to us as a gift. Four years ago, you did something about it. You registered, and you voted Ike Eisenhower into office. Now let's keep him there. Ask yourself, is this the time to change, with wars simmering all around the world? During the past four years, President Eisenhower has kept this black headline off the front pages of our newspapers because he knows at first hand the terror and misery of war. As he has said, We witness today in the power of nuclear weapons a new and deadly dimension to the ancient horror of war. Humanity has now achieved for the first time in its history the power to end its history. This truth must guide our every deed. It makes world disarmament a necessity of world life. For I repeat again this simple declaration. The only way to win World War III is to prevent it. The National Citizens for Eisenhower Nixon have presented this message to all thinking voters, regardless of party affiliation. To be happy, it's important to like your neighbors and for them to like you. So think how really important it is for the whole world to like and respect the President of the United States. No American has ever won greater respect for our country than President Eisenhower. And that could mean the difference between war and peace. That's why I'm voting for Ike. Come on, Prince. Hi, <laughs> here, boy. You little mutt. Come on. I've been driving a taxi here in Washington for quite a few years. Every day I pass this corner a dozen times, never even notice it. But every night, 
when Prince takes me out for my evening walk, I always stop when I reach this particular spot. Look over there at that house, where you see the lighted windows. A neighbor of mine lives there. Yep, Dwight D. Eisenhower, a man with the most important job in the world today. What do you suppose he's thinking about over there? Right now, at this very minute. Maybe things thousands of miles away from here, anywhere in the world, wherever some crisis is starting to threaten everybody's future. Egypt, Formosa, East Berlin, there's a dozen places where real trouble can break out. And that's why we all depend on Ike so much. He can stand up to Khrushchev and those fellas. He's a big man who's used to handling big problems. Or maybe he's thinking about the folks who work every day in factories and offices or drive taxis. <laughs> of course, mine isn't one of the big jobs in the world, but it's important to me. And I get a feeling it's important to him. I think he knows all about people like me who work for a living. After all, he was born in a small town. His family was no rich in mine. He never had any money given to him. And everything he's got, he had to work for. He's a family man, too. He knows the problems of raising a family and trying to give them the things they need. Yeah. He might be thinking about a lot of things. Children, maybe and how we can help them all have their own desk in a good school with a good teacher to help them grow up strong and healthy with all the advantages and opportunities our kids ought to have. Or the people on the farms, how to save their land and help them grow crops and have some cash in their pockets at the end of every year. Real hard questions that need his impartial thinking if they're going to be solved fairly. So the farmer is sure of getting a steady increasing income himself. Or how we can stay strong. The way I see it, there's a problem that absolutely calls for a man with Ike's background as a military leader and statesman. He knows what it takes to give us the strength we must have to stay free. Yes, behind those lighted windows is a kind of man history only favors a nation with once in a long, long time. A man dedicated as few men ever are to high principles and human good. A man whose whole life has been given to his country's service. That's why tonight, while I'm thinking of him, I got a feeling He's thinking of me and my future and my family's future. In times like these, so full of perils and problems, I'll be honest with you. I need him. Don't you? Come on, Prince. Come on, boy. Time we were getting. The National Citizens for Eisenhower Nixon have presented this dramatization for all thinking voters, regardless of party affiliation. We have two sons. Both are of draft age. We believe in a strong America. I also believe that President Eisenhower, because of his experience, knows better than anyone else how to keep our country at peace. So there's no question in our minds. We're voting for Ike again. I'm Lena Washington, a mother. I'm voting for Ike because I think he can give us lasting peace. He stopped communist aggression in Indochina, Iran, and right here in America's, and Guatemala. Ike entered the Korean War, too. That's why I like Ike, and he'll get my vote. I'm Irene Walpole, a college girl voting for the first time. I can't see how Mr. Stevenson has any experience in dealing with foreign countries. But both our allies and our enemies respect the greatness of President Eisenhower. In order to keep peace, we need a president that other countries will listen to. In my book, that's President Eisenhower. I'm Howard Gensler, union member. 
I see Mr. Stevenson says the average man isn't making out so good under Eisenhower. Yeah? How does he explain pay raises? Average hourly wages are up $16 a week, and more people are working. Also, Ike's kept the peace. I'm voting for President Eisenhower again. This year, there are 54 million women eligible to vote. Two and a half million more women than men. Enough to decide the whole election. And as November 6th draws near, you women are doing a lot of thinking about a lot of important things. For instance, you're thinking about the cost of living. You want to see living expenses stay at a reasonable level. You want your family budget to be protected against inflation. You're thinking about your family. You want to be as sure as you can that you will all go on living together in our present happiness and prosperity, in an America at peace. You're thinking about your children's future. You want them to grow up under the best possible conditions in terms of schools, health, and general welfare. And because they believe he represents their best hope of achieving these things, the women of America are making their choice for president, Dwight D. Eisenhower. But suppose we ask some of them what they think about the coming election. My main reason for voting for Eisenhower is because I believe in his sincerity. Uh, I don't feel that he is furthering his own interests, but he is furthering the interests of the country and the people. I feel he's a very big man, which is needed for that position, and also because he has not been and is not what I consider a politician. I'm interested in Ike, and this is my one big reason why I'm interested in Ike. As a woman and future homemaker and mother in America, the type of man that I want to be president is a man that I and my family and my children and those around me can look up to and respect. I think that President Eisenhower is that sort of man. Inflation. We're not going to have that in the next four years if we vote right with Ike. I'm voting for Ike because I feel that he is a God-fearing man, and I think that's essential in any leader, especially the leader of our country. Uh, I think that Eisenhower has shown how he feels about the average working man. He's uh, given us the minimum wage law, the changes he's made in Social Security, and uh, I think in another four years he'll uh, do even more than that for us. I'm going to vote for President Eisenhower because he represents the things in which I believe. I like his philosophy of the dignity of man, and I also believe that he's a sincere, honest, and high-caliber person. He has a smile that could prove only one thing, and that is honesty. So much of our future rests with the women of our country. They are the homemakers. The whole family unit revolves around them. Everything that affects the family's welfare affects them first. And everything in the family's life benefits from their influence. They do the family buying. They see that everybody in the family circle is well clothed and well fed. But beyond this, they are the custodian of its values and aspirations for the future. In their hands lies the training of our young people to whom they pass on the rich heritage of our nation, its love of peace and justice, and its passion for freedom. The women of our country swept Dwight D. Eisenhower into office four years ago. They will probably decide the election this time. And they like Ike. And here's somebody else they like, too. Ike's beloved Mamie, whose smile and modesty and easy natural charm make her the ideal First Lady. Let's keep our First Lady in the White House for four more years. November 6th, vote for Dwight D. Eisenhower. The National Citizens for Eisenhower Nixon have presented this message to all thinking voters, regardless of party affiliation. <laughs>